Oh, hello. Thank you for joining me for Veg with Lisa Live. I'm Lisa. Thank goodness I am alive. And today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious, healthy meals from convenience foods. Foods out of a can. Not what you expected on Veg. No. Hi, Rob. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Before I get started, however, please type in the comments. Let me know that you're here, that you can see me, and that you can hear me because it has been a minute. It's four weeks today that Hurricane Helen started raining her fury down on us here in Asheville, North Carolina. And Rob and I and the pups were actually in the middle of moving houses when the whole thing went down. Believe me, I'm not complaining because there are still so many people without homes. People lost lives, livelihoods, businesses. So as the song goes, I'm happy just to be here. You know, I think we just do the best that we can under whatever circumstances we're faced with, right? And one of the things that's really important to me, and I try to share that with you, my viewers, my friends, is healthy eating. But when you don't have electricity, when you don't have running water, when you don't have internet access, anything, what is a veg lover to do? Well, you do the best that you can, just like I'm doing here. Our kitchen is still a total disaster. It's chaos around here. But I'm going to show you how to create an absolutely delicious, healthy meal using convenience foods, perhaps out of a can. So the first tip is I always keep, and I didn't know I was going to get hit by a hurricane, but I always keep some healthy convenience foods in my cupboard. Yep, it's things with clean ingredients that you can just toss together. No cooking required. So if you think you can't cook like my friend Emily, I call baloney because anybody can open these containers. And one of the meals that we've been enjoying in this, this past month during the hurricane is chili out of a box, out of cans, no cooking required, only opening. So I have my own favorite brands. You may have yours. I really like this plant strong. Amy's is a great brand. Trader Joe's has all kinds of stuff. It doesn't matter, but read your labels. You want to read the ingredients and make sure that there's no added sugars, no added gunk, no inflammatory oils. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make your own open and dump chili using healthy, convenience foods. So I'm starting with this Plant Strong Organic Black Bean Chili. I, I'm just going to use it as a base. And I think I can turn you down here. I also don't have my Oh yeah, there we go. I don't have my set set up yet, but I don't know. Hopefully I don't drop you in the chili. <laughs> okay, so we start with the convenience base. And then I also open some can of cans of additional beans. Chickpeas could be great. I was waiting around the can of pinto beans. The very first day after the hurricane, the only grocery store was the Hispanic store up the street. Thank God we stocked up on beans and Topo Chico and, and some other naughty things in there. Yeah. So I'm going to add some canned tomatoes. Let's see. Oh, I know. I'm just doing the best that I can. Here we go. That's maybe a little bit better. Yeah. I always keep canned tomatoes on hand. Super easy to add to something like this. Also super easy to toss in a jar of marinara sauce, corn in the freezer. And no, corn is not an evil food. Just buy organic so that it's not GMO. What else? Oh, I always keep some uh, low sodium, no junk added veggie broth on hand. Ah, let's just toss that all in there just to add a little bit. So the only thing I might say about these convenience foods, sometimes they can be really high in sodium. So when you add all of your own ingredients, that helps kind of diffuse the sodium and there won't be quite so much per serving. Ah, another really fabulous hack is these already to eat cooked lentils from Trader Joe's. So you can eat these hot or cold. I'm gonna toss some of those in my open and dump chili. Look at that. Come on, it smells amazing. I wish you could smell it. I sometimes add a few more spices. I like a little garlic powder, maybe a little extra cumin, some coriander. Yeah, we're just gonna make this our own. And then of course, last but not least, I almost always have those big tubs of spinach or bags of washed kale. Any kind of greens would do if you have fresh. So you can see I have cooked absolutely nothing. I have prepped absolutely nothing. I have washed absolutely nothing because I don't have safe water in my house even a month later. So 
that's it. Let me show you. I'm going to do my quick swap here. Thank goodness we had a gas stove. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? I'm getting an open and dumb chili facial. It's delicious. So I'm going to show you. Thank goodness it's lunchtime because I'm starving. I'm going to pour a little bit of this delicious chili in my bowl. Now, you can serve this over rice or uh, cooked rice or cooked quinoa for a little bit heartier meal. I can never help myself. I love to add some chili crisp or chili oil, of course, spice, which is my favorite because, again, we're talking about clean ingredients. She uses avocado oil and she doesn't add any sugar. Now, let me get you back up here and show you how absolutely delicious this open and dump, doing the best that we can meal is going to be. Oh, but before I do that, let's count the plants. Oh, there's way too many in here to count. There's three kinds of beans, at least. There's sweet potatoes in the chili base. There's tomatoes. There's corn. I added kale. There's a whole lot of spices. There's probably at least 10 different varieties and plants in here, which is what we need for a healthy gut, for a healthy immune system, and for healthy mental health as well. So let's give this chili. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Clean eating out of a can. You betcha. If you're interested in more healthy eating tips like this, check out my Nourish and Energize Reset, which starts on November 4th. Registration just opened today, and you can save 50 bucks if you register by October 28th. We're going to talk about how to clean up your eat and kick your sugar dragon to the curb and have it be easy and fun mm. and delicious. Thank you for joining me for Vegetalisa Live. Remember, just do the best that you can. Peace out.